It happened in uh, 2012. Uh, played the IPL in 2012, and the lead up to that was interesting because um, I had I'd scored my first Test hundred in Australia in 2012, uh, followed by that that game against uh, Sri Lanka in Hobart, where we chased that that total down within 40 overs. That came out of nowhere. Honestly, I, I I did not believe that I could do something like that at the international stage. It happened. Uh, gave me so much belief from there, and then Asia Cup came, and I got 183 against Pakistan um, on a Sunday. Everyone was watching, so things really just turned in about six months for me. But I forgot the basics of the game. I started, you know, becoming more desperate, and I thought this IPL I'm going to dominate everyone. But you know, the moment IPL started, a few games which didn't go my way, and my mindset completely dropped to the other end. Uh, I was eating. Anything that came in sight, I was finishing, um, you know, candy packets, 40 pieces a packet. I, I would finish three packets a week. Um, I was eating horribly, sleeping horribly. My my habits were all over the place. And I finished IPL. I remember I went home, came out of the shower first day, and I saw myself in the mirror. And I was ashamed. Um, it was literally I saw myself and I thought I'm, I'm looking at another human being. And I I told myself, look, if if you want to play cricket at, at the highest level, this is not the way. That you can manage, and from next day onwards, I changed everything about my diet, the way I trained, everything, and from then on, it was just an obsession. Look, when I step onto the field, I have to believe that I'm the best, because my mindset, as I said, was very clear from from the first time I started playing this game. I'm not going to allow anyone to to think that I'm just a pushover. So my mindset was, I'm going to go to Australia. And how am I going to score runs against these guys? I wasn't going out there to to survive. And from the time I got back home till the Australia tour, I was I promise you, I was visualizing every day when I was working out in the gym that I'm hitting Mitchell Johnson, I'm hitting these guys all over the park. And those things came to life eventually because I convinced myself to an extent. When I went there, I was absolutely fearless, and things just started flowing. To be honest, before that Australia tour, I was I was treating every foreign tour like um, you know more like an engineering exam that I have to pass somehow, and I have to show people that I can play at this level. But there, I realized that you know once once you're down and out, there was hardly anyone who came to help me. There was hardly anyone who was looking towards me and saying, "Listen, let's let's work together and you know try to get your game up to speed." Everyone was just going after me left, right, and center. So I was like. Am I playing to prove these people wrong? For what? I've got nothing to do with them, and they literally have nothing to contribute in my life. So I went back home. I was down for quite a bit. The great thing that happened at that stage was I realized who's with me, who's not. You know, things were filtered to an extent that I just got so relaxed when I went back home. I was like, okay, I've hit rock bottom now. No one believes in me. Um, everyone thinks I should not be playing Test cricket. Um, so what can I do? I can just work as hard as I can. For me, one thing was always and always very clear. When I step onto the field, I'm going to give 120% every game that I play. Um, and one thing for a fact that no one can can count that against me. Um, till the time I play this game, I am going to play this way, and this is who I am. And if if my mindset in the field is simple, I will not stand around wanting to wanting people to do something that I'm not able to do first. Um, for me, every ball is an event. Every moment is an opportunity to make your team win, and that is exactly why you step onto the field. You have to make that time count. If you, if you told me I had to walk away from this game tomorrow, I can walk away with, without any regrets because everything that I've done since I entered the Indian cricket team has always been for the team. I've been booed by 40, 50 thousand people regularly when I enter the stadium. If I start focusing on those 50 thousand, I can't play a ball. For me, that's an opportunity. That's an opportunity for me to say, okay, fine, things are stacked up against me. Let me test myself how good I am. There always have been two options uh, for me: either it's fight or flight, and I've never taken fight flight. Or flight. I've never taken flight. For me, that's just that's just not a, because. I, look, I can take flight if I if I can't sleep peacefully at night. For me, it's not worth it. I might as well take the fight. If I fail, I know that I took the right option, um, and that gives me peace. For me, when I leave the field, as I just said. I need to be able to know that I've given everything I had, and I sleep like a baby. There is nothing else that can that can distract me then, because in my potential as a human being, God has blessed me with a healthy mind, healthy body, an opportunity which you know everyone wants. So I have to be honest to that. I have to live up to that. So for me, these things are just a just a process, uh, just a part of the process, which is. You keep moving forward. You keep taking the positive option, whether you get success or not. That's irrelevant, but never take a backward step. Face face the fear 
look it in the eye and say, fine, I'm going to have a smile on my face and I'm going to, I'm going to keep coming at you. And that's, that's how I live my life as well. I don't live my life half and half. I've never done something which I'm not 100% convinced about. So for me, as I said, if you wanted me to walk away now, I'd have zero regrets in life or in cricket. But this culture is what is more dear to me. And I will do everything in my ability, even if you lose a test match, I want us to, to go for the win. And, and not, you know, surrender or try to save a test match on day three or day four. That for me is just, just not acceptable. So, for me, as I said, milestones don't matter at all. If I had played for milestones in my career, I probably wouldn't have half of what I have right now. So, my mindset is pretty clear and for us, it's just pursuit of excellence.